Hey everyone, we are Team Vibhav, the departmental team of Electronics and Communication Department in Nimbus 2K19, NIT Hamirpur. In this video, we will be giving you guys a guide on how to access Raspberry Pi using Ethernet, thus eliminating the need of HDMI screens. The components used in this video are Raspberry Pi, USB cable, Ethernet cable, and a formatted SD card. You may also need an SD card adapter in case your device doesn't support SD card directly. Firstly, you have to download the Raspbian Stretch which is the operating system for Raspberry Pi. We are downloading it from the official website of Raspberry Pi. You may also download Noobs or Raspbian Stretch Lite according to your requirements. Now we need to download some third party applications to access Raspberry Pi. First of all, we need to download Angry IP Scanner and download the 32 64 bit executable file. Then we need to install Putty, which is an SSH and Telenet client. Download it as shown in the video. Furthermore, we will need to install VNC Viewer to control your device wirelessly from your laptop or Android device. You need to install Win32 Disk Imager which will help in mounting Raspbian on your SD card. After installing all these softwares, mount the Raspbian into the SD card using Win32 Disk Imager, as shown in the video. Now, after mounting, open SD card and create a new file with no extension and name it SSH. This will enable SSH. Now open network properties of your Ethernet connection and open IPv4 properties and you will observe IP has been assigned automatically to your Raspberry Pi. Now to scan the particular dynamic IP of your Raspberry Pi, we use Angry IP Scanner. We put range as shown in the video. Now copy the IP of the Raspberry Pi and paste it within the PuTTY terminal. A dialog box will appear and after that you can log in with default username as Pi and password Raspberry. You can control terminal of Pi using PuTTY only but to work on GUI write command VNC server on PuTTY terminal and it will generate the key. Copy this key and paste it in the VNC server. Log in with the same credentials and there you go. Your Pi is ready to use. For any further queries, comment in the comment section below. Links of the required software are present in the description below. Thank you.